I had probably uh, a, a, a very manly Friday and uh, the exact opposite Saturday. Friday was full of guns and strippers. Strippers? How about that, huh? VIP club. That's fun. Well, we weren't near the VIP club. I would have gone there, but you know, ah. we weren't near there. And I wasn't driving, which was good. And the strippers were men. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, well, Friday I decided uh, I was going to hit the range with the uh, the new uh, FS2000, my new little weapon. And uh went down to the range, zeroed in my sights, and uh, had a good time down there. Love shooting. Uh, I accidentally, you know, the uh, uh, when when you pull your target back, you do the little crank thing, and the pulleys pull your target back. And you see what you did. You put a new target up, and you can crank it, and it goes back. I uh, I shot through the string that um, uh, pulls your target back inadvertently. Uh, the guy asked me if I'd done it on purpose. Goes because that'd be a good shot. <laughs> but uh, now nah, a lot of fun though shooting that gun. I I I have a video of it. That I'll uh, I'll put up. I'll give it to Steve. He'll put it somewhere where you can never find it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then Friday night was uh, going out, uh, doing some drinking, uh, and uh, hitting the strip clubs, and um, saw some with who? Uh, there was well, it was the people from um, the uh, uh, XM. I gotta get it right. What is it? My XM Radio Store. <laughs> MyRadioStore.com. Uh, yeah, you know, Ziggy and stuff. Right. Well, him and the staff over there. And uh, first we went to shoot some pool. Then um, went uh, to the strip clubs. And uh, Danny and Marissa were there, too, uh, having a blast. Then went to, you know, the strip clubs. And, and the, there's a whole thing going on where, I don't I don't know. Strip clubs, they, they just change constantly. Uh now you're at the point where you you watch the strippers on stage, then they come by in front of you. You're at the bar and just stand there and wait for you to give them money. They're fully clothed now. You don't like throw the money at them while they're on stage. They don't come over naked and take money from you. By the time you give them money, they're completely clothed. They had just gotten off the stage and now they do a lap around the bar, each of them, to get your money. Like that is that's the like, worst goddamn way to uh that's extortion. So well, we had a little fun with it. I hope so. Because like you should be able to just throw money at the, at the one you want to throw money at. Exactly. A, 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 there's a reason why you don't throw money at all the strippers cuz Right. Cuz some of them don't deserve it. It's not even that. You're not attracted to them in any not way. Attracted. You're like, uh, you're not hot. You're not my type. You, you danced horribly. Your your song selection was bad. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just you're throwing crap out you're there. You're fat. And then you get the one where it, it's the one. You're like, whoa. And then you're empty in your wallet. Yeah. Well, I That's caused, how it should work. I, I caused quite a stir. Yeah. I caused quite a stir. Yeah, I was... Uh, I was standing there at the bar, and, and, and the girls are coming up, and um, certain girls, without getting into any detail whatsoever, I wouldn't tip at all. <laughs> and I'm not saying who uh, would come by that I would not ever tip. I'm just not attracted. <laughs> You're not attracted to black girls? I didn't say that. I said I, I, certain girls. I know you're trying to speak in code, but I need to know why. A black um, girl stripping is a is a big time turn on. There's very few that are attractive, and they have to be mixed. Is it out of principle or <laughs> no? No, it's not out of principle. I, I know. I know you were trying to speak in code there, but I couldn't let that uh, just go. I don't find many African American girls attractive, especially the girls at these strip clubs. What about the time we were in Atlanta? Very. Hold on. Hold very, on. Very. Um, um, not not firm. What about the time we were in Atlanta? Uh, a lot of the girls that were there. What about it? Uh, and I think it was the Motley Crue strip club. I mean, th they sang a song. Th I think this song is mentions about the one in Atlanta. I believe, or whatever. We were in a strip club that has some connection to Motley Crue, and there was a black girl that had like an extra ass. Remember? I don't her? like that though. I but don't it wasn't like... like big. It was like there was an extra like something going on back mm -hmm. there. <sighs> wow. All right, I, go ahead. I'm 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 really you know. I'm sorry. I'm into white chicks. I just am. 
I like white girls. The whiter, the better. <laughs> yeah, obviously. I just, you know, I just like, uh, I like a good pale girl. <laughs> I just that's my preference. I, mean, I yeah. like Spanish girls and black girls, but I prefer my white chicks. I'm just that's that's what I'm into. So you're not so you're not so, turned on by a black chick uh, taking her clothes off. No, it wasn't really doing anything for me. There were a couple that were uh, kind of good looking, and I would I would tip them. Uh, not as much as the white girls, though, because I was very attracted to you know some of the white girls. So then this one chick, she's like really hot, uh, kind of tall, dark hair, really cute face, and uh, she comes by, and I realize I hadn't gotten a stack of uh, ones yet, and I had some hundreds on me and stuff, so I just gave her a hundred, and she goes, "Do you need change?" I go, "No, that's for you. Go ahead." So she just gives me this look. And uh, she was like, oh, thank you. And then she kind of walks away, and she wouldn't stop looking the whole night. And then she must have told all the other strippers because they were like seagulls, and I had French fries <laughs> at the beach. <laughs> they just kept coming by. And then we, we all started playing the let's completely ignore them and see how long they'll stand in front of us game. <laughs> Because, like I said, they come by and try to and wait for you. They don't say anything. A lot of times they'll just stand there. So, uh, me and my girlfriend, and Danny and Marissa, were just standing around, uh, talking and not looking at them. But out of our peripheral, we see they're standing right in front of us. And some of them will just stand there and not leave until you got to kind of turn around and make eye contact and go, oh, oh and I'll give them like a buck because I didn't want to tip her anyway. And other girls just stand there, stand there, and then just. Slink away, <laughs> get nothing. Exactly the way men do when we try to talk to them in public. Yeah, exactly. Why do they all? They don't all deserve to get tipped. They don't all deserve to get tipped the same amount. Like one girl, I, I'd give like a five to, and then another girl would get a twenty, and then some girls, well, I wouldn't give anything to. Why pimple on the butt? Fat, saggy. Like they had a, a smorgasbord of girls there. I could understand some guys probably into. Every type of girl that was there, there, you'd find a guy that was into it. But one girl, she was uh, this uh, black chick. She had a weigh close to 300 pounds. It was just a huge woman. Big, huge cans, huge ass. And she's up there shaking what she's got. And I guess, you know, some guys find that attractive. But me, I wasn't going I, I was, I was to pull out anything. You know, George Washington staying on the bar. <laughs> you got to say to them sometimes, like, if a girl's standing there, I've had that, and you go, look, maybe a little bit later because you're a pig. Oh, uh, because you're a pig. Add yeah, that in. Add yeah. that in. But be, be nice about it with a smile, and they won't even realize what you just said. And then there was a girl that was giving uh, lap dances. Uh, for some reason, all the, the strippers weren't giving lap dances or something. Because I'd have gotten one from a really hot girl that I found attractive. But none of them are... Really coming around and getting uh, for lap dances. They save that for a certain few. And uh, this one girl is supposedly, you know, oh, great, great at giving lap dances. She's fantastic. But I look at her and, and she does nothing for me. And and uh, my girlfriend's going, oh, but yeah, it's it's what she does. It's really good, you know. She'll stand in front of you, you know, take take down the uh Wait, how does your panty? girlfriend know? Because uh, she went in and got a lap dance. Oh, okay. <laughs> so... Uh, she like she'll take her uh, her G string down and 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 show you things. You're getting strip club advice from your girlfriend. That's yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you me just, about you it. You just casually go, oh yeah, well. No, because because I I, I would have gotten one from a girl I found attractive, but this girl wasn't attractive, and she goes, oh yeah, but you know she you see what she does back there. Right. I was like, I don't care what she does. It doesn't matter to me if the girl is talented or something. If I don't find her attractive, get the get out. You know what's funny about that? Like you just said, how your girlfriend has gone to the strip club and that's how, and she knows that this particular dancer is really good. Yeah, and we're not like outraged by that at all, right? No. It's just accepted in no. the society now. Now turn that around and, 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 and tell, you, tell your girlfriend that you went to a, a male strip club. Yeah, he's great. <laughs> he's great. You should see what he does back there. Right. He just shakes it in your face and <laughs> all, all hell would break loose. You're like what? Right. After he's done, your face smells like onion rings. Right. <laughs> 
You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's just like, oh, God. That is amazing how that works in society today. And, yes, there were uh, Russian strippers, which uh, I guess Seth from Jersey wanted to ask, but um, I'll just answer him. There were Russian strippers. Uh, some of them very cute, but um, that voice comes out, and it's over. Mm. Uh, you want to the, make I make the dance for you? The dance? I make a sexy dance? No. You just ruined it with the, that, that accent. The, how long have you been here? Could you not say make the sexy dance? Because <laughs> it doesn't make the sexy dance. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, so, you know, I, I tip them as I seize them. So it's pool, strippers. Yeah, the pool hall. Uh, first first guns. guns. Uh, then the pool hall, then the strippers, uh, and then uh, late night, um, getting back to uh, the house. Slept until, I think, 5 in the afternoon. Uh, it was just a ridiculous, really good night out. Uh, and then Saturday, uh, I had to get ready quick because um, we had to go catch the Broadway production of The Little Mermaid. <laughs> Oh, yes. Under the sea. Okay, terrific. <laughs> I go from guns and strippers to the Little Mermaid on Broadway. <laughs> I'd have to get ready quick. Just make sure your tampons were... <laughs> How would you do that? His and her tampons, obviously. Uh, what is wrong with you? Well, uh, you know, the girlfriends are... It's all right to hit Broadway every once in a while, and... but... She likes the Disney productions of, uh, you know, the we'll cartoons. And Are you happy to get her a ticket? Well, you, you go. No, you don't. You go. It was, uh, I, I'll be honest, I, I, I'm a fan of, uh, of uh, people's voices. Oh, what? No, the era. <laughs> I'm a fan of, of people that can sing, and uh, there were a couple of very good singers in, in, in the show. Could you chill? Um, we got Chuck Liddell coming in here in, in minutes. I don't want him hearing I... this before he comes back on our show. He thinks we're cool. It's not like I went with a, a gay guy. Doesn't matter who you went with. You, yeah, you, your girlfriend did. It was you. <laughs> <laughs> you spit that out, didn't you? Yeah. You got it. I, 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 I almost fumbled the ball, but I just I grabbed it before it hit the, uh, the dirt. <laughs> <sighs> Little Mermaid on Broadway. Yeah, yeah, there's uh, the Little Mermaid on, uh, on Broadway. The sets were fabulous. <laughs> so colorful. <laughs> the uh the uh, uh a girl that played uh, Ariel was very uh cute. Yeah. Which means she was 16. Um <laughs> no well <laughs> No, I think she was a little older than that, but yeah. She was uh she was very <laughs> Wouldn't you think stupid he rock. He's, he's got them all for you today. Of course he does. His iPod. <laughs> Did he get the Stupid soundtrack food. after the show so he could relive it at home? No. Did he get the the T-shirt? What did you no, get? No, I didn't. You, mu you had to buy something. Didn't buy anything. Uh, but yes, this is one of the songs that she sings, and the girl had a very very uh, good voice. Yeah. Was able to um, hit the notes. Well, of course. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Just <laughs> wonderful. Uh, come on, I made up. For it on Friday, right? Look at Jimmy's looking at you in disgust. I shot guns. I drove fast. I went to strip clubs. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> this just negates everything. Yeah, you let us all down. Oh, oh, wait, here it comes. Sing along. I want to be where the people are. I don't know the words. Oh. <laughs> I want to be where the people are. Oh, is this a little retard under the ocean? <laughs> oh, it's not sweet. I think that's a different production. The little Mo Howard haircut under the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> the little mermaid wants to get to where the people are. I, I don't know. I can't knock it to Disney, but she does, and then uh, you know she gets. Uh, uh, oh, don't spoil legs. it. I want to see it. And then goes up and and hangs out. She gets legs, and then what does she realize that the uh, the mermaid smell is going to be with her forever? <laughs> <laughs> she could have just stayed underwater and had an excuse. <laughs> Uh, uh, all right, well, that's oh a wonderful weekend. God, yeah, it was a uh, uh, action-packed. <laughs> what well, was? It was fun. The girl gives you strip club advice, mm -hmm. and then you go and see Little Mermaid the next day. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all right. Broadway production. <laughs> okay. Right there on uh, 
Broadway. Well, we have to take a break. We got Chuck Liddell standing. By. Yes, it's a man. This place.